Hi, this is Kimberly Miller with the Palm Beach Post, and we wanted to give you an update this morning on what's going on with Hurricane Matthew. Um, there's going to be an 11 a.m. advisory where we think they might issue some watches and warnings, and that's your opportunity once they go to a hurricane watch or a tropical storm watch to know that something's going to be hitting us in, within the next 48 hours, and it's time to start getting prepared. Uh, I talked to the National Hurricane Center director this morning, and he said, when the hurricane watch is issued, you have 48 hours, and that might be the time to start putting your shutters up, although you should be getting prepared right now as far as getting your supplies together. So let's look now at what's happening right now. Now, um, Hurricane Matthew made uh, landfall in Haiti this morning at 7 a.m. as a powerful 145 mile per hour Category 4 storm. It's expected to exit the island um, sometime early tomorrow morning um, as as still a category four storm it is not supposed to weaken very much and go into the bahamas as a category four storm it's going to be off our coast um, late thursday through early friday and let's look a little bit more at the maybe we can get a better look at the timing here um, so this is friday um, morning at 2 a.m just north of us more on the treasure coast so that gives you an idea of what, what timing is going to be. The worst of the impacts probably Thursday into Friday, but we could start feeling them late Wednesday. So you want to have your preparations pretty much done um, before the tropical storm force winds start. Um, one thing that the Hurricane Center is asking you not to focus on the cone of uncertainty. It's easy to get caught up in that on the center of the track. So one thing they put out are these uh, wind uh, speed probability maps. This is their tropical storm forest wind speed probability maps. And as you can see, um, Palm Beach County is in for up to an 80% chance of tropical storm force winds that we might feel. Um, the hurricane speed, whoops, sorry. Hurricane uh, speed probabilities, we've got up to a 30% chance. This is on the National Hurricane Center's website, so you want to check out uh, that when you get a chance. Um, oh, here's just a, a satellite image of, and you can see how big this storm is. Earlier uh, this morning, the hurricane force winds were going out uh, more than 40 miles. The tropical storm force winds were going out about 180 miles. So even if this goes just off our coast, uh, and it still might move to the west some, which, which is a big concern. They are not ruling out a landfall right now in Florida. Um, we're still going to feel the impacts. And they're saying dangerous surf, deadly surf possible beginning tomorrow through Saturday. So you're going to stay off the beaches. Um, we might get some of those new storm surge maps that come out with the uh, hurricane or tropical storm watch or warnings at the 11 a.m. advisory if they decide to issue those uh, watches or warnings. You can see the Bahamas are already under a hurricane warning uh, all the way up to the northwestern Bahamas, and that is unusual for the entire chain to see something like that. Um, one thing you want to do is just keep uh, checking the Weather Plus page for updates and the Palm Beach Post page. Official word comes from the National Hurricane Center website. Um, I'm going to be on Facebook checking for questions, if you have any, for the next uh, 15 minutes or so. If you have any now, you can ask them. But right now, this morning, what did I do? I went and picked. A, I went and uh, filled my tank up with gas. I'm going to go get some cash out of the ATM machine. I've got my batteries. I have plenty of water. So just take an inventory of your plan. Know whether you're in a hurricane evacuation zone. You can find that out at the Palm Beach County Emergency Management web, uh, website. Now, they were at a level three activation this morning when I checked, which means that they're heavily monitoring the storm. Um, they might go to a level two, which means they're going to start considering uh, calling some evacuations. First people evacuated are the um, mobile homes, and that's usually when there's a category one storm. In truth, not a ton of people are asked to evacuate, even if it was a Category 5 storm, because it's based on storm surge. So it is mostly the coastal residents. A lot of times they just ask you to hunker down, make sure your house is secure, and ride it out if you're not in danger of being flooded. Um, again, this is Kimberly Miller with the Palm Beach Post. Please keep checking the palmbeachpost.com website and the National Hurricane Center. And we'll be at, uh, back after the 11 a.m. to chat more about the possible watches and warnings.